Coming up on Look Today, well, the State Education Commissioner of New York, Mary Ellen Aliyah, gave a conference yesterday. I've got details. And we have updates on the Glens Falls Civic Center. More on that coming up. And Congresswoman Elise Stefanik helps pass important legislation to provide assistance for military veterans. I've got those details. And it's all ahead on Look Today. Welcome everyone, I'm Jay Hood Jackson and this is Look Today. In tonight's program, I sit down with Jeff Mead. He's the general manager for Glens Falls Civic Center. He's here to talk about all the new renovations happening at the center. Plus, I also sit down with Samantha Bosshart. She's the executive director of the Saratoga Springs Preservation Foundation. And we're joined by Seth Finkel. He's the honorary co-chair to the foundation. They're here to discuss the upcoming Trask Art Show that's happening tomorrow. Plus, we've got your weather for the Tri-North Counties, but first, these headline stories. Within our lead story, State Education Commissioner Mary Ellen Aliyah addressed school superintendents yesterday at a conference. Now, the conference took place at the Saratoga Hilton. The commissioner addressed the issue of standards for testing in grades 3 through 8. Now, right now, too many students are opting out of tests in English and math. The commissioner stated that in order to raise standards, there has to be open communication between teachers and the administration and parents. Well, we spoke to the commissioner, Mary Ellen Aliyah. Uh, teachers are the professionals out there every day working with our students and we need to make sure that um, we listen to them and as they make suggestions that we incorporate those things wherever possible into the changes we make in New York State. How true. In other news, well, the Glens Hole Civic Center, as you probably know, is undergoing interior design changes. Now, after receiving an important grant a few months ago, the Civic Center is now able to improve some of its features and overall appearance and performance. Now, some of the renovations include repainting the ceiling, new speakers, as well as new video boards. They're going to be installed by the end of November. Well, we spoke to Jeff Mead. He's the general manager of the Glens Falls Civic Center. We recently purchased a, a new video board uh, from U.S. Panasonic, which will be installed November 8th and in time for the Thunder game on November 22nd. It's the latest in technology, 5 millimeter uh, technology, and, you know, 4 is the smallest currently, so we got the 5 millimeter technology. It'll be a wonderful improvement to our Civic Center. And we also spoke to Jeff about the significance of these new video boards and what they mean for the presentation and the community. The hockey fan and the you know the customer that comes to the to sporting arenas now they want to be entertained. They just don't want to come here and watch the event. They want entertainment. This new video board will give them tremendous entertainment. Uh, we have the Wi-Fi in the arena, so all everybody can be on their iPhones, etc. During the game, um, it's more than just a sporting event. Now it's an entertainment event. So we're getting uh, in line with what our customers want. Quick sidebar: This morning I'm getting gas at the gas station. Someone comes up to me and says. Oh, I love your show. I love the interviews. Hey, as a result of the interview you did with Jeff Mead, I'm taking my wife to see uh, Thoroughgood on Friday night. That works. Switching from news to weather. Well, today saw a mostly cloudy sky. Some did come out, though. Let's see how the rest of the week is shaping up. For a more detailed look at our weather, we're heading to the Glens Falls Weather Center for a look at your first forecast. Back to the news. Well, Congresswoman Elise Stefanik voted in favor for the No Veterans Crisis Line Should Go Unanswered Act. Now, Stefanik represents a district that is home to more veterans than any other state. Did you hear that? And the legislation is to aid the Veterans Crisis Line. Now, the rate of veterans committing suicide has increased by 700 percent between 2008 and 2015. That's a devastating statistic. This legislation requires the Department of Veterans Affairs to develop a plan to ensure every call is answered in a timely fashion. Thank you, Congresswoman. Up next, I sit down with Jeff Mead. He's the general manager of the Glens Falls Civic Center. He's here to talk about new renovations happening at the center. Plus, I also sit down with Samantha Bosshart. 
She's the executive director of the Saratoga Springs Preservation Foundation. We're joined by Seth Finkel. He's the honorary co-chair to the foundation. But first, if you see news happening, you want to share a story idea. How about join us for an interview? Give us a call on the hotline. The number is 798-8000. Well, that's all the time we have for this edition of Look Today. Now, I've got a couple of lookouts for you tonight. Uh, the first one has to do with this wristband that I have on, which I'll tell you about in a minute. But um, I wasn't here yesterday, so we taped the news Monday, and some glitch happened last night, and we ran the wrong newscast in the beginning of the night. If you caught the later broadcast, we caught the mistake, so we apologize for any inconvenience. So for the lookout tonight... I've got this wristband on, and no, I didn't go to the hospital. It says the word Porsche on it. Uh, I was invited by Christian Trejo and the gang at Porsche of Clifton Park, along with a bunch of other car enthusiasts, to go to Lime Rock Racetrack and race around the course with professional drivers in some 911 Porsches. Now, that's like, for a guy like me, that's like going to Disneyland. Uh, we had such a wonderful time. Uh, I, John Witt was there, and uh, Colin Morton. I met Randy and Michelle, and of course the gang at Porsche of Clifton Park were just so accommodating and so nice. It was a real thrill, especially if you're a car guy. And to prove it, uh, I mentioned John Witt. He's a buddy of mine from Saratoga, and I only had my cell phone, so the video isn't good, but this will absolutely capture the spirit of what the day was like. So. Tonight on Look TV at Saratoga City Council meeting. Don't forget to tune in tomorrow night for the stories that matter to you. And here's the video. <laughs> What'd you think, John? Oh, that's awesome. Good. Living the dream. <laughs> Good. 